So I first heard about Never Alone from an Instagram post um, right before they, or right when they announced National Conference last year, someone tagged me in a post, uh, said I might be interested in it, and I just kind of jumped in. When I first arrived at the Never Alone Conference, I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> um, really had no idea what I was getting into and um, honestly feeling incredibly alone, which is fun, um, funny. And so, but getting there and being there, um, I immediately felt like I was part of a family and part of a community and for the first time in my life over that last year felt normal. Conference just got me excited. Um, it was it was uh, the start of just what felt like a journey. Um, honestly, started to make me feel like I had purpose in this season of widowhood, and um, really started to transform my idea from being a widow as my identity to uh, having a widowhood be my calling toward what was next. At this point, I just feel like my mission in life is to help people understand grieving people. I, I care so much about people who are grieving now. Like when I experienced what I did, no one knew how to help me. No one knew what to do with me. I was 28 years old, widowed with a newborn, and people were completely lost. And so because of what I've experienced, what I've had people do for me that helped, and what I've had people do for me that hurt, I feel like I'm able now to help people understand grieving people. The lack that I had, I just couldn't handle going forward with other people not having what I now knew was possible. Right now I'm in Blowing Rock, North Carolina with the Never Alone Widows Retreat. Um, and actually a week from tomorrow, we're having our first Never Alone Locals Gathering in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where I live. Um, super excited to bring 15 to 20 women together um, just to meet and get to know each other and feel together and feel like they're not alone. My heart since I even arrived at this retreat has just been slowly morphing toward freedom. Um, there's been moments where I, that I walked in not knowing that I was bound down um, to just feelings of um, not being enough or not having the right emotions or saying the wrong things and um, ever since arriving here with the conversations that we've had with the prayers that people have prayed over us and the words of encouragement that they've given us i'm just slowly feeling this sense of release and freedom that um, the lord just wants me to breathe and he wants me to walk in newness of life and he's got every intention to refill my lungs with new life walking out <laughs>